On this activity, you will create a portrait out of words. This could work better if you had a complete paragraph, but for this activity, you will use your name only. Step number one, search for a celebrity's headshot with white background. Make sure that it has high resolution. Step number two, open the image in Photoshop. So you can do this by clicking on File, Open, or you can just drag it as I'm going to do it. So I chose Chase Crawford, you can choose whichever artist you like. Now that you open it, you will go to File, Save As, you will save it as Typography, Photo, your grade, your group, and your name. I'm going to save it in the desktop. So now, you'll select the background layer. You'll go to Select, Color Range, and in the Select part, you will choose Shadows. Then you'll click OK. So as you can see, you have the shadow selected. And what you want to do is you want to copy this into an another layer. So you're going to click on Command C and then Command J. So it has been added to layer 1. You will rename this layer Shadows. You can just double click to change the name. Step number 8. Select the background layer. Now step number 9. You'll go to select color range, but this time instead of selecting shadows, you'll select midtones. So you just click OK. You'll do the same, you'll click on Command C and then Command J, but this time you'll rename this layer midtones. So you'll select the midtones layer, which is already selected, and you'll, you'll go to edit, fill, and you will use 50% gray. Make sure that Preserve Transparency button is selected. Now select the Shadows layer. You'll go to Edit, Fill, but this time you'll select the black layer, the black content. Make sure the Preserve Transparency is selected. Now you will click on the Shadows layer and then on the Shift button and you'll click on Midtones. With two, la with two fingers pressing down, you'll merge both layers. They will turn only into one. So now you can hide the background layer. You can do this by clicking on the eye on your left. This will make the, the layer no longer visible, but it's still there. To make it visible again, just click on the eye, but this time we need to hide it. So step number 18, open a new Photoshop window. You can do this by clicking on Window, Arrange, and you'll click on new window for typography. So now you have two, two windows. In the new window you added, you will type in your name and select the font. So you will go to the text tool and you will write your name. So to change the font, you will select your name and you'll, you'll go to window, character. In here, you can change the font, the color, the size. You can change all the letters, but I like it. I like it as I have it, so I will just hide it and I will leave it like that. So now, using the rectangle mark tool, select the text. The rectangle mark tool is the one below the move tool. So you'll just select it, and you'll select your name. You'll go, step number 21, you'll go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and you will name this with your name. You will return to the, to the window with your image, so you will click on the left one, the first one you started with. Now you will create two new layers. You can do this by clicking uh, in the bottom, beside the trash can, you'll click two times, because you want two layers. You will rename layer 1, Fill and layer 2 text. So now you will select the fill the fill layer. In here you will click command D to deselect your name so you can paint not only your name, just everything. So in your left corner you will click on it and you will change it to white. In here you can change the size to make it faster and make sure the opacity is 100%. So you will just color everything. 
make sure it's on the fill layer. So after you're done, you will hide this layer. You can do this by clicking on the eye. Now you will select the text layer. You will select the brush tool. Pick the brush with your name and choose a black color. So in the, in the bottom, you'll change the color to black. And in the top, in here where you choose your point of the marker, you'll go all the way to the bottom and you'll choose one with your name. For example, I'm going to use this one. Step number 29. Go to Window Brush. So you'll go to Window Brush. In here, you can change how it's going to appear your name when you put it. So, for example, I'm going to move the spacing. If you want it a lot, you can move it all the way to the right, and if not, you can move it to the left. In here, you can you can flip your name, and you can change the size, whichever you like, however you like the most. So you can select the scattering from the options and play with the sliders and see how it looks best. For example, I will go to scattering, and in here you can make them look crumpled or however you like the best. So, for example, I'm going to change it here. Hmm. I like it like this. You can play with all these different tools. They're very cool. But uh, make sure they're very nice. So now, step number 31. Pick a size. So whichever you like the size. The opacity 100%. And the color black. Make sure of that. Now, you can just start brushing your image. So now after you you have wrote you have painted with your name, you can hide the text layer. You you can just click in the eye. Step number 33. Select the shadows layer, which are the merge layer, so the one you started in the beginning. In here, you will go to select select all and you'll you'll go to edit copy or just command C and then you'll make the text layer visible so you just click on the eye and you will add a layer mask to add a layer mask you, you just go to the right of the effects and you just click but make sure it's in the text now with the alt option key so you just click on the alt and then click on the layer mask and then click on edit paste you will need to click with the alt key and the button of the computer at the same time and in here you can click edit paste so now you click on command D to deselect now click command I and you can see how it all changes of color now select the fill select the actual text layer so the actual te text layer is to the left you just click on here and you will make the fill layer visible you just click on the eye now select the text layer so we already have it selected and you will go to layer styles and gradient overlay so to go to the effect you'll go to gradient overlay and you change the color Make sure to click OK. Now you will go to step 42. Choose any color for gradient and blend mode. So we already did that. Now select a soft brush. So in here you'll go all the way to the top. And I'm going to choose the, sec the first one. Make sure the opacity is 30%. And make sure the color is black. Paint over the text layer to make the person's features more visible. For example, the eyes, mouth, no, mouth nose, etc. So I will just start painting. And you can see how it's going to turn out. So now you're done. You can just click File, Save. And you will submit it to Schoology.